A local veteran says it was his motorcycle that kicked off a sheriff's chase, ending in a deadly shooting. Good evening. I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jackie Parks. 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez is here now with more on how last night's incident has left this veteran feeling like a victim as well. Amanda? Jackie, Tim, Jeffrey Rutledge says he got a call from a friend that recognized his bike on TV. That's when Rutledge quickly went to the scene of the shooting and realized his bike was the stolen motorcycle involved. It hurts. There's a lot of sacrifices that were made between myself joining and everything that's gone on while I was in there. And just to see someone take something from somebody in my position hurts. Jeffrey Rutledge is talking about his tour of duty in Iraq. Rutledge made sacrifices to serve our country and had saved up just enough money to buy his bike. He was using it to get to class every night at Taft College. But in late January, his bike was stolen. A lot of anger and a lot of hatred. I'm the type of person you come around and ask me, I'll give you the shirt off my back. It's definitely not worthwhile of stealing whenever it's someone's hard-earned money trying to make a living and make something nice for himself. Then, today, Rutledge found out his bike was involved in a chase that led to a deadly shooting outside the Beardsley Market in Oildale last night. I was kind of shaken back, like, what? Rutledge says he was relieved when he found his bike, but now he has to figure out how he'll fix it when he's once again reunited with it. I don't know who's going to pay for the damages that are done to the bike. But this is ultimately a justice system, and I believe that the sheriffs and deputies did justice today. Rutledge says he's hoping to get his bike back from the sheriff's office on Monday. Tim.